Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey there! Gig and I are in the real world equations lab today to learn about equations and how they work. Right now all the scientists have left for a meeting so we are super bored here. Hey Gig, I got an idea. This chair can spin. See how fast you can spin me. Okay, but this is gonna be super fast. Not going to end well. Whoa, too fast. <laughs> Today we're going to solve real world equations in one variable, like this example. Solve the equation for h. 17 minus h equals 8. There are several ways to find the value for h. One way is to rephrase the equation like this. 17 minus what number is 8? Or 8 plus what number is 17? Using our number sense, we could simply answer 9. And we could check our work by adding 8 plus 9 equals 17. Another way is using a model. We have 17 circles, and we need to take away an amount so only 8 are left. We now have 8 on the left. How many circles did we take away on the right? 9. So, h equals 9. But what about solving the problem using algebra and properties of equality? If we choose to solve the problem using algebra, our first step is to subtract 17 from both sides of the equation. This is applying the addition property of equality. Then, we need to multiply by negative 1 or divide by negative 1 on both sides of the equation. Either method is called using the multiplication property of equality. So, we also find that h equals 9. Therefore, we have just solved the equation in three different ways. Which way did you like the most? Let's try this problem. Solve the equation for t, where 27 equals 9t. In this problem, we can rephrase it as 9 times what number is 27? And if you know your multiplication tables, the answer is 3, because 9 times 3 is 27. Solving the problem using algebra, we would divide both sides by 9. And this will isolate the variable t. We also find that t is equal to 3. See how there's more than one way to solve the same problem? Let's try this problem. If Johnny had 21 marbles and Maria gave him m marbles, then how many marbles did she give him if he now has 35? Create your own equation to solve for m and type your answer as the number that m equals. In this problem, we know Johnny started with 21 marbles, but we don't know how many were added to the group. But we do know how many there are after marbles were added. So our equation is 21 plus m equals 35. We can draw a model to show the original 21 marbles, and then we could keep adding one marble until we get a total of 35 marbles. Or we could find the difference between the two amounts. 35 minus 21 equals 14. This means that Maria gave Johnny 14 marbles, so m equals 14. Great job!
Thanks for learning about real world equations with us today. As you can see, we have found a new game to play. Woohoo! Check out the Mage Math game for PC and Mac computers on the website. See you around. Faster. Woohoo! Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.